If you wanted the big time thrills, you had to head to the beach. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and I, you and I, oh how happy we'll be. When each wave comes a rolling in, we will duck or swim. Once upon a time, everybody in Los Angeles wanted to go to the beach, and they did. So big wooden piers were built out into the Pacific and little fun zones developed at the base of each one. Probably the most successful was Ocean Park between the Venice Pier and the Santa Monica Pier. Pacific Ocean Park was, uh, began ter to be terribly popular about uh, the late turn of the century, about you know, the 1918, 1970, it was built before then, but that's when it was hit its heyday. By the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and I, you and I, oh, how happy we'll be when each wave comes a rolling in. We will duck or swim and we'll float and fool around the water over and under. It has theaters, it had roller skate rinks, it had dance halls, it had restaurants, it had rides and slides and something for everybody. But then in 1958, a tidal wave of money rolled in and it became Pacific Ocean Park. 28 acres of nautical nonsense which really rivaled Disneyland. And the all-day admission? just 90 cents. They took the old high boy roller coaster and renamed it the, the Sea Serpent. They took the old Stratoliner, which was this huge tower with rockets swir twirling around and, and renamed it Mr. Dolphin. They rebuilt its entire end of the pier and turned it into a banana boat uh, train ride where you went out into the jungle and then circled a volcano that was erupting and then crossed rickety trestles across the uh, tracks uh, overlooking the ocean. They had a very scary ride that were like these little bubbles that actually went out over the ocean. I remember probably in 1964, 65, one of them fell into the ocean with a couple of people in it. And every time I'd ever ride on it, I'd go, is it going to be me next? I, I call it the centrifuge. I guess they call it the whirlpool. They got them in that. It looks like a barrel with a bottom in it. And it start, they start it spinning. And pretty soon, you're glued to the back. But my husband didn't realize that the floor dropped away also. And our kids, oh, they did get even with him. Because he about died on that one. Another outstanding thrill at Pacific Ocean Park it's when you ride over the Pacific Ocean in a bubble. They called it P.O.P. for short, but not for long. Nine years after it opened, business fell off and the whole fantastic, fabulous foolishness just plain disappeared. But we can still hear the squeals of the sea serpent and feel the salt spray of Mr. Dolphin and Mrs. Squid. And we'll be back with more things that aren't here anymore. <laughs> <laughs>